What up? Yo, what's up? Check this out. I got myself a new guitar. Well, it was kind of in the used section, but it's new to me. You know how that goes. Uh, this guitar is currently selling. Let's see, today is um, some day in October, I think it is, for real. 2017 is definitely the year. I'm not that lost. But I will tell you that, according to, uh, it's 3.33 on October 6th. 3.33, fellas. October, October 6th. 3.33 p.m. 3.33 p.m. Eastern Time in the great state of New York, October 6th, 2017. Here's what happened. Okay. I found this guitar on the internet. Internet? What's that? Okay. Used. Righty? So I called the store, talked to a salesman down in Long Island, New York, by the way. And I said, interested in this guitar, tell me all about it. All right, I got it in my hands, I'll tell you all about it. This thing is a beauty, as a matter of fact. I know the guy who brought it in and returned it. He takes really good care of his guitars. It's in practically brand new condition. I said, sold to this chubby fella right here. Gave my credit card information and away we go. I said, listen, just do me a favor. I said, tell you guys in packing and shipping to do something, a little extra precaution for me because I really, really want this guitar and I've had guitars shown up at my house and UPS, they see it coming to me and for some reason they really just want to kick it around and see what they can, kind of damage they can cause. So uh, I said, please, you know, be careful with the, the points on this guitar. They're pointy, pointy, you know, put some hard styrofoam or something there. So during shipping, if somehow there is some impact that it doesn't get damaged. Oh, our guys are great, man. They do the best job. They're packing and we never have complaints. They're awesome. I said, just do me a favor, man. Oh, just tell them, be a little extra, give a little extra uh, cushy here when it comes to uh, shipping this one because I'm not buying a case with it or a, whatever. It actually came with a, a, a gig bag. And so the guy put in the gig bag. Well, anyway. It is in practically brand new condition. It's currently selling on uh, all your favorite internet websites for $649.99. It is a Jackson KEX. KE for Kelly, uh, which is the body style, Explorer body style. X for their X series. They have a series out now. It's been out for a couple years. The X series where they're actually making neck through guitars. Um, as imports, where Jackson in the past only did, you know, way, 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 way back when they first started doing imports, they had a few neck through, uh, but that was, uh, they stopped doing that because it was competing with their USA made neck throughs, so it was short lived. And then for many, 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 many years, Jackson's where you either went to the custom shop and, and ordered it uh, custom in America, made in America, USA. And you got the neck through with all your, whatever you wanted. Or you purchased an import, which were predominantly bolt-on necks. Okay, that was the, the big, big difference between, not just the big difference, but the difference in being the availability of, of the neck through. Okay, the quality was in the, the American-made ones are, are definitely a higher standard, higher quality, better quality control better wood, all that good stuff. So, uh, you know, if you have an American-made Jackson, you know, thumbs up to you, bro. Or honey, honey, whatever. So, um, anyway, get back to the story. I get the guitar, I'm really excited, and uh, I see the box. It looks like it, you know, a little bit mangled on the end. I said, ah, don't tell me. So anyway, I open it up, and there it's in the case, and then I open the case, and what do I see? I see something that looks exactly like this. And I'm saying to myself, are you kidding me, man? So I fa found the pieces of paint that were chipped off of this thing. I found it in the gig bag. 
and I'm saying to myself, this totally, 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 totally sucks. Now, granted, this is a $650 brand new, and I paid, what's that say, $399 plus shipping and plus tax. They, they tax you on the shipping, so whatever it came to, it came to like $465 or $70 bucks or something like that. I don't have the exact number off the top of my head. But, so I called the store and I said, hey, listen, you know, uh, it's damaged. What the heck do you do to me? Uh, the, the salesman wasn't there, so I wasn't able to call him and say, listen, punk, I told you, man, I told you. I didn't want this to happen. But anyway, the lady, uh, the manager said, oh, we can't uh, we'll bring it to your, you know, return it to another store. I said, no, why should the other store get your mistake, you know? You guys screwed up. I want this to go back to your store, really, and I shouldn't have to drive 30, 40 minutes to um, the closest store that you have to my house and gas and travel and time and all that. I said, send me a UPS uh, return label prepaid and I'll, I'll run it into town and I'll drop it off and uh, at the Staples and they, they do UPS and you'll get it back. Oh, no, no, we, we don't do, we can't do that. I said, can't do that. Um, what? I didn't want to, so I called the corporate and the corporate sent me a, a return uh, UPS thing. So this is going back. It sucks because I really, this thing plays like incredible. The neck is sweet, you know. Um, just just really, really was psyched for this guitar. Now it's like sour grapes, man. I'm kind of bummed out. But, uh, anywho, so let me tell you, it's going back. So, here's my temporary, short lived, owned uh, KEX uh, 2017. This is the current model available. Uh, in, in production, so it does say something to the effect of crafted in Indonesia on the back of the neck, so um, they are starting with the IC serial number again, which I don't like the way they mix these serial numbers. Jackson has always had a problem with their serial numbers. Uh, Fender took over Jackson uh, 2002 or something, and they didn't straighten out the serial number thing. As a matter of fact, they when they started manufacturing uh, out of Japan, that which Jackson used to do, and started going, moved it over to India. The quality suffered big time; like they really sucked. I had gotten a bunch of Jacksons made in India. The inlays were sticking out, like uh, like popped out. These shark fin inlays <coughs> tweaked out. Like you could see, like they were, you know, you could pull it right out of the 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 setting there in the in the fretboard. Um, that was one strange thing. Another. The jacks are always, you know, scratchy. The, the the wood they never it never stayed in tune if you had a trim system because they use that the wood in India is like cedro cedro wood whatever they call it. Um, it just didn't it wasn't hard enough really to keep from moving. You know the acclimation the temperature expando contracto. You know so um, they stopped making them in uh, India and in India when they were doing it in India they had I forget the N something, it started with an N, NJ something, um, and then you knew they were made in India. Then they started manufacturing in China. China, I know China, do you know China? China, uh, and then they started with this uh, IC whatever for China. So now it looks like they, they're they using the same prefix for the ones manufactured in Indo Indonesia for the serial number. Why they do that? Why didn't they just start with IND or something? Or, Whatever, so I can't figure these guys out. Their serial numbers are, you know, pretty confusing. It has been forever with Jackson. And you think with Fender that they would have straightened it out a little. But what Fender did is they demonetized the value of Jackson guitars. You can buy a brand new Jackson bolt on import for like 350 bucks. Whereas the made in Japan ones back in the 90s, etc. 80s and real early 2000s were eight, nine, hundred thousand dollar guitars, depending on the finish. Um, you know, your average was around 850 bucks. So now, they you can find the average Jackson import for 350 bucks, five hundred dollar difference. Well, what does that tell you? That tells you the Fender is a bigger company. They got more buying power. They got more. Um, you know, manufacturing power or whatever, but the quality diminished. The 
Jacksons are, you know, I have a bunch of the Made in Japan ones, and uh, they're not quite a collectible yet, but, you know, people that know guitars that want a, that want a decent Jackson and can't afford a, a USA, um, the, they may step up to this uh, X series, which is, it's decent, made in Indonesia, it's all right, man, I'm not knocking it, it's, you know, a uh, little better than the Made in Japan's, but, uh, you know, if you're on a budget, you can find a really nice uh, Made in Japan uh, $350 as compared to the brand new $350 one. So kids are going to be like, why should I pay $350 for used when I can buy a brand new for $350? Well, there's a difference in quality. But if you're just starting out and you're a kid and you're a parent and you don't know any better and, and that's what's happening, then you're, you're like, well, it is what it is. This is the way of the world, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, without getting too crazy here, I definitely mouth the, mouth the mouthful. That's my story, my opinion, you know. I'm sure other people have found out the same thing. So here we go.